Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 58-year-old female who fell on her kneecap and had pain there. Also, she has some swelling on the lateral joint line and history of a prior partial meniscectomy. Now, we see on this coronal uh, T1-weighted sequence, she has this big glob of gray signal on the lateral joint line here. And it looks like it communicates with the lateral meniscus. There's a little band of bright signal within the lateral meniscus. This is a classic appearance of a lateral perimeniscal cyst. So the uh, meniscus is weeping out fluid, filling up this big lateral cyst. This is an axial T2-weighted sequence. You can see how big this thing is. It's a very septated uh, fluid collection over here. If we put up a coronal PD fat set sequence, we can see it as well. And so now we know this is a big lateral perimeniscal cyst, no big deal. But now there's increased signal within the substance of the meniscus here. The meniscus body and anterior horn has this horizontal band of signal. It extends through the uh, peripheral, middle, and inner thirds. It also clearly contacts the capsular surface here and you know fills up this perimeniscal cyst. So what to call this? A lot of people will call this a meniscus tear, but I guess it's technically not correct. It's not a meniscus tear, and some surgeons may be upset because technically a meniscus tear contacts the superior or inferior articular surfaces. And if they do a scope, they expect to see it on the top or bottom here. And if it doesn't, then it's not a true meniscus tear. And this one doesn't contact the superior or inferior articular surfaces. It just contacts the capsular surface, so it's not a true meniscus tear. So then what do you call this? Um, sometimes I'll call this a horizontal intrasubstance tear with no communication with the superior or inferior articular surfaces. That may not be the best way, I think. The best way may be just to be to call it a meniscal cyst, where you have fluid that's uh, building up within the substance of the meniscus. And this patient, it broke out here laterally and it causes perimeniscal cyst. So maybe a, a horizontal increased signal compatible with a meniscal cyst and an associated lateral perimeniscal cyst may be the best uh, terminology. And again, some people I've known uh, have gotten in trouble because they said there's a meniscus tear. And it sure looks like there's a meniscus tear, but since it doesn't contact the top or bottom, don't call it that because the surgeons, if they're really uh, finicky, may uh, be upset. And that's it. Thank you very much.